Indulge in coastal flavors with a touch of elegance at the Blue Heron Kitchen and Pub. Immerse yourself in their nautical-inspired atmosphere while savoring their locally sourced and culinary creations. The Blue Heron. So tell us a little bit about why you did this. Well, it started off, I was just the realtor involved. And um, as soon as the temp or permanently closed sign went up for the previous restaurant, I, I was already working with a group of investors that were looking for a place. And we jumped on it pretty quickly. The contract was negotiated, but I just kind of threw it out there. I said, if you guys are looking for another investor, I'm in. And so I brought the local presence and uh, we opened in February, end of February. So when we sat down with our, our partners, we kind of thought we wanted something a little more elevated, not too elevated, but something where someone could come in and feel like they could, it's family friendly, it's healthy choices. We have some gluten-free, we had vegetarian options. So what are some of the items you have on the menu? Well, our top sellers are certainly the seafood pasta and uh, we have a fish and chips, but we have a great filet. We have some chicken entrees. We have some great salads. We have seared tuna. Um, you know, again, we're, we're American cuisine, but we really do have a lot of seafood on the menu. We have a good selection of it. So let's talk a little bit about your bar. What do you got in terms of craft beer and those kinds of things? We have a good selection of craft beer. It's on a rotating as far as the draft. We have the IPAs. We have a bartender that's pretty special to us. We call him Nate the Great. <laughs> we're giving him a little shout out there, but um, he is he's just so talented. I mean, we've got, this week we had some um, watermelon mojitas. And I mean, he's got his own little signature things, but there's nothing that you can't come in and ask for. And he really does a super job for Course. But on the other side of the wall, we have a good selection of wines. What's the plans going forward? We're increasing the appetizer menu. Um, Nate's kind of called his bar the nest. <laughs> so um, our football games will be on our TVs. We have seven TVs. And with an expanded appetizer menu, we're hoping, you know, we'll pull in some people who want to watch the football games. And we've had golf on. We've had a Kentucky Derby party. So we've got some nice events. If you visit our website at uh, thebluehairandkp.com, you can see our menu. You can make reservations and you can even order online.